for CHS TV as your pregame reporter. And if you have noticed, we are in a bit of a bad weather situation right now, but don't worry because we will not let any rain rain on our parade tonight. If you were watching the live stream last week, the live stream went out for part of the game, and we're very sorry that was our fault. We had some textual, technical issues with our truck, and CHS TV apologizes for that, but no need to worry because the truck is now back up and running like usual. Now, about today's game. I don't know about you, but I am really looking forward for today's game against North Andover, especially after the game against Lowell last week. In case you didn't see it, the Lions won their 900th game in the program's history with a final score of 49-8, to with five touchdowns in the first half alone. The first touchdown was a kickoff return kicked by Lowell's kicker Cameron Durkin and returned to get the first points on the board by senior captain Manny Marshall, who was interviewed earlier this season. Nice kick by Durkin, Marshall at the 10-yard uh, line. Straight ahead, he has some room, he has one to beat. He's got open space, can Manny get to the end zone? He's gonna make the it. The 10, the 20. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> the second touchdown was made by Jack McCarthy. Both touchdowns were made during the first minute and 40 seconds of the game. Wilder looks, looks, has a man breaking open, and it's caught. And that's McCarthy for the touchdown. Chelmsford played a fantastic game and really brought their all for their first away game of the season. In the game against Lowell, the Lions had a total of 225 yards rushed and 80 yards passed for a total of 305 yards for the game, while Lowell only had 82 yards throughout the entire game. This week's game against North Andover is expected to be one of the toughest games for the Chelmsford Lions this season. And the Lions have now won three games in a row, which means that they have officially, uh, they officially have a winning streak. But today's game against Andover will really be an opportunity for the Lions to prove themselves and show how strong of a team they've become. North Andover. North Andover is 2-2 two to two this season, while the Lions have won three out of their four games. So tonight's game should be very interesting after North Andover losing last week to Tewksbury, who we are playing later this season. And we haven't beaten them in a while. I'm sure North Andover is ready for a win, but the Lions are here to stop them once again. These two teams played, speaking of once again, these two teams played against each other last year in North Andover, but sadly it resulted in the Lions being crushed 35-7 to on North Andover's turf. With this in mind, we are sure the Lions are ready to put their best foot forward in today, for their game today, hoping to come out with a win. One player that helped the Lions put their best foot forward last game was senior receiver Jack McCarthy. Jack McCarthy caught a 30-yard pass from our quarterback Kyle Wilder, resulting in a touchdown last Friday. He also had many other incredible plays, including another touchdown, which really brought the Lions to their fantastic win. In the first three games of the, of the season against Maynard, Lexington, and Drakeit, McCarthy had three receptions with an average of 7.67 yards per reception, his longest reception being 10 yards. Jack McCarthy is also a senior this year, so I really hope that the Lions continue this winning streak just to make his senior year that much more special. My good friend Brinley had the chance to interview him yesterday about how these two touchdowns against Lowell occurred and how their energy changed for their first away game. Let's head over to Brinley to hear more about it. I'm Brinley Williamson for CHS TV and I'm here with Jack McCarthy who plays receiver to talk about CHS's last football game and the first away game against Lowell. So the season has been going amazingly. The games have been super high scoring and fun to watch. Lowell was the first away game you guys have had this season. How is the energy throughout the team going into that, and did it affect how you prepared for the game? Uh, yeah, so our energy, uh, even on the bus, starting on the bus, being our first home game, we even had that feeling of being on the bus, having that energy, and we really brought it, and you could tell by the score. And the energy really propelled us into having a win. And you scored two touchdowns in this most recent game. How did you feel the game would go after scoring the first, and how did it play out? Uh, after scoring the first, we had an opening kickoff touchdown by Manny Marshall, which kind of set up our whole team and brought the energy up even more. And we just had a good play. Coaches schemed it out, and that's how we scored two touchdowns on the same play. And last week when Kai Everett was interviewed, he talked about how the Lions haven't had a running clock in years, and you guys have had them for two games in a row. Is that affecting the way you guys are preparing for games? Uh, I wouldn't say so. We 
we prep every game as the same. We just have to bring the energy, even with like those variables, like the running clock. We still have to do our job and get the win. So, yeah. All right. Thanks for talking to me. I wish you guys luck against North Andover. This has been Brindley Williamson. Back to you, Stella. Thanks, Brindley. It's always great to hear how tight-knit our football team is and how they use the energy to propel them towards their wings. I still can't get over how the Chelmsford Lions have had running clocks for the second half for two games in a row since this hasn't happened in years. It is so great to hear that they haven't let this inflate their egos and are still going into today's game with just as much energy, maybe more energy than usual. Another one of our all-star players is Mike Beerworth, who is our team's starting kicker. Beerworth has not missed any extra points this Chelmsford Lion, for the Chelmsford Lions this season, and we hope that he can score some more this game against North Andover. Last week against Lowell, Beerworth attempted and made seven extra points, continuing his perfect streak season. There were six kickoffs last game, which totaled to 316 yards, with 58 yards being the longest kickoff of the game. The game against Lowell was yet another amazing game for Beerworth. Let's head back to Brinley to hear more from him about how the Lions prepared for their game against Lowell and for today's game against North Andover and more. I'm here with Mike Beerworth, who plays kicker for the CHS Lions to talk about our past game and our next game against North Andover. So it was talked about in interviews last week that Lowell was a tough team to prepare for and you guys were expecting it to be a difficult game, but the Lions came through with an astounding win. How were you guys able to prepare for this challenge? Uh, all week our coaches, uh, they prepped really well. All the boys, they were all fired up the entire week. Everyone knew their job. Everyone knew the, what was going to happen Friday. And uh, we went in there, great mindset, came out on top. And what are you guys expecting from this game against North Andover, and how do you prepare for them? Uh, preparation was kind of the same as last week. Installed a few uh, new things. Uh, brought everything to the table, brought everything onto the field. Uh, we're all ready to go for tomorrow. This season has been so great, but I'm sure it didn't start off how you guys wanted. You lost your first game, and it has obviously not deterred you from having an amazing season so far. How are you guys not letting losing the first game affect the way you play while doing the same time at your very best? Uh, after the first game, I think we all went into that game with a mindset like uh, we were all going to win. We all had the uh, we took it easy the first week. Thought it was going to be an inferior opponent. They came out. Props to them. They uh, had a great game against us. In the next three weeks, we just decided that everything is uh, we got to go 100% every, uh, every single day. If we don't, it's going to have the same outcome, and that feeling was terrible. So, that's it. All right, thank you. This has been Brindley Williamson. Back to you, Stella. It was great to hear what Michael had to say about this season and today's game. Michael has had an amazing season so far and had an amazing game last week as well. Today's game might be tough, but I know that the Lions have what it takes to defeat North Andover. Well, that's all that I have for you guys today, but the game is just beginning. Best of luck to our players and our marvelous marching band, who you might be able to hear behind me, <laughs> as they will be joining our players on the field shortly, very shortly. <laughs> if you are watching this on cable, make sure to stick around for halftime to see their live performance of our marching band. Um, this was the Lampton for CHS TV. Now let's go up to the booth. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to George Simonian Alumni Stadium, campus of Chelmsford High School. The Chelmsford Lions are getting ready to entertain the Scarlet Knights of North Andover. The Lions come in at three and one. North Andover comes in at two and two. But that's not the story, Howie. No, that's not the story. I think the quality of the schedule is uh, in the uh, North Andover Scarlet Knights' favor, Bruce. They've played uh, Tewksbury, Marblehead, uh, Marblehead are a couple of good games. They played Beverly. Lake so and Sudbury. And Lake yeah. and Sudbury. So their, the quality of their opponents is a little better right now than the Drake it, Lexington, <laughs> Lowell opponents that we've seen. So hopefully uh, tonight is a test for the Lions. North Andover has a lot of good athletes. Uh, we've been impressed watching their sophomore quarterback throwing the ball as, uh, as well as he is in, uh, in their warm-ups. He's a very impressive young man. Uh, Drew Fitzgerald is his name. The Lions uh, have not been able to beat uh, North Andover for six years. 2016 was the last victory, and the point total during the... Uh, uh, win streak for North Andover is very uh, much in their favor. It's uh, 209 to 64. Not a good uh, <laughs> situation for the Lions. Right, right. I think uh, they, as I said, they're very athletic, and I think they'll have a good defensive uh, plan. I, we, again, in warm-ups, I saw they're practicing a few blitzes, 
trying to disrupt Wilder in his uh, throwing and some of the offensive line blocking. So it'll be, uh, it's going to be a test, that's for sure. It is a true test for the Lions. This is game 49 in the series and um, the uh, game 48, excuse me. And believe it or not, it's tied at 23, 23 and one. So uh -huh. you can see that Lions have trouble with North Andover. We're going to uh, toss it to a break. We're going to get uh, the kickoff ready to go. Bruce Byman, Howie Neal, stay with us. I think you'll enjoy this one. And now, ladies and gentlemen, would you please rise, remove your caps for the playing of our national anthem performed by the Chumpsford High School Marching Band. Avery, defensive end. Ryan Blagg, safety. Shea Carboneau, right guard. Ryan Clark, linebacker. Cooper Collins, Dion. Daniel Craig, tight end. Dylan George, outside linebacker. Bobby Hennessy, cornerback. Dylan Knox, wide receiver. Tyler Koska, left guard. Bruce Lindstad, defensive tackle. Manny Marshall, wide receiver. Jack McCarthy, wide receiver. Joe Mitri, middle linebacker. Isaac Tambor, defensive tackle. Scott Sheridan, defensive end. Nick Spironis, linebacker. Joe Taze, safety. Jack Walsh, outside linebacker. Ryan Ward, defensive tackle. Yes. Good evening once again. You can see the captains are at midfield and uh, getting ready for the coin toss. We'll listen to the referee. Apparently he's not mic'd. I think the Lions won the toss. Not sure. No. Not the end was going to receive. Okay, so. Um, North Andover is going to get the opening kickoff. The Lions' uh, Mike Beerworth will be kicking it. And as we said before, into missed our pregame, North Andover with some excellent athletes, starting with a sophomore who's their quarterback, uh, Cam, uh, Drew Fitzgerald. Drew Fitzgerald, number two. And they uh, have put some points on the board this year so far. They've, uh, as Howie said, they've won a couple, lost a couple. Lost uh, to, to a tough Tuxbury team last week after leading 14 to nothing in the uh, game. Jumpsuit seems to have uh, and some some type of a jinx against game. this team, <laughs> and <laughs> we're hoping tonight might be a little bit different. Yeah, the yeah, they, uh, I think it's the, the fact that they haven't uh, been a league opponent for a, a number of years. I know. Turn of the century, we were a league opponent, but 
now uh, uh, that isn't the case. You're right. The series actually stopped, Howie, in 1970 and didn't resume again for about 30 years. Yeah. And there was a big gap when North Andover went uh, out of the Merrimack Valley Conference. I think, uh, uh, Cape Ann? Cape Ann, exactly. Yeah. They're worth to kick it. Let's see if we can get a couple of receivers for North Andover. Uh, number 22. 22 and uh, three. So number 22 is, uh, is that Zach uh, Walensky and, and three. Number, Patrick uh, Roy? Number three, Patrick Roy. Yeah. Yes. Roy and Walensky have scored a number of touchdowns so far this year. Here's Beerworth to get us started. We're underway, big, high, booming kick, and they're gonna let it go yeah. to the end zone where North Andover will start. First and 10 at the 20 Here yard line. Goes to the end zone for the a quarterback is a sophomore, but he has a uh, really solid arm. We were watching him yeah. in practice pregame, and he can throw it. Uh, and it looked like his favorite receiver is number seven for them, and that's Kara Potridge, or Cam Potridge. Cam Potridge, right. Uh, showed excellent speed. And seven Total. is, uh, oh, go ahead, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, seven is at the bottom of your screen. Single covered out here. Handoff, straight ahead. Pretty good yardage coming across the 25. That's Walensky with the football. Not the end of a mixes the run and pass very nicely. They are a very balanced well, football seven, team. They're not one dimensional at all. Lions defense, as I said, we both said, will be tested tonight. The other thing about North Andover is they have really good athletes at their skill positions. Handoff trying to get outside and turning the corner and not turning the corner nice out there. Taken down. Ball carrier is number 34, I believe. It was 34. Michael not. 34, Michael McNaught. Uh, I think this is, is this Malachi well, out here? Number eight, Greg Engelhart. Uh, it's third down. Let's no. make some noise. Yeah, didn't catch it. it be, I think it was 24. Okay, That's it Malachi. Is it is Malachi. Okay. So it is third down and four for not Andover. Hand off straight ahead, nothing. The Lions are there. It's a punting situation. And it will be a three and out for the Scarlet Knights of North Andover. The punter is Camden Bethel. He was booming them in pregame, kicking uh, about 50 yards. Number 19, I believe. Yep. It's 18. 18. Yep. Love white shirts with numbers, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a lofted snap, but he gets a very good kickoff. Marshall's gonna let it bounce at the 45, rolls to the 38. Good uh, bounce for North Andover. The Lions get it first and 10 at the 38 yard line. So a good start for the defense. Yeah, good start for the defense. We saw a few. Uh, they didn't put the ball in the air. Not that they didn't put the ball in the air. They ran a trap. They ran a sweep. I think one of the strategies for teams against Chelmsford now is try to establish a run to uh, keep the Lions offense off the field if they can. All right, we'll see what uh, the Lions have cooked up for tonight. They have uh, Malachi Everett to the right of Nate Wilder. Wilder gives it to Everett, and he comes across for about three or four. First down yardage, Malachi leads the team in rushing. Ball set number 24. Gets uh, three Everett on the first right. down to the 41 the yard line. A little quick hitting, hitting trap up in there with the Thomas Brown. And, uh, there was a second pull or two lineman, pulling lineman. I didn't quite but catch his number. And this is Wilder, and he has a little bit more success. Second leading rusher on the team, close to first down yardage. Quarterback Iso with a couple of pulling linemen there, and uh, Malachi also leading. And they're going to call it uh, third down, I guess. Or they're going to measure. That's really close. 
No, they're giving him the first down, so it's first and 10 Chelmsford. Two successful running plays by the Lions, using the uh, size of their offensive line. They've been getting better each week, playing as a unit and really blocking well. Last week, the Lions seemed to come out throwing. Tonight, they're uh, keeping it on the ground. That's exactly what they're doing. Again. This is uh, Malachi Everett, and he has good yardage. He's got about eight. Across the 50 to the 45-yard line. It looks like second and two. Good leg drive there, and also we had some help for the Lions. Number 66, Tyler Cox. Got good job by Tyler. All right, it is second and three for the Lions. Following three running plays. Now it's four running plays, and Wilder comes across the 45 to about the 43. It's going to be third and uh, just about a yard. And that's what it is. Uh, uh, just underway in the first quarter. And two down territory, too. Yeah, I would think so, definitely. Show blitz and is a flag and offside, not the end over. Yeah. That's going to make it easy for the Lions. Now they're going to get a first down. Yeah, they were trying to time the blitz right there and uh, they outside. encroached Even. the neutral zone. Last year at North Andover, the Lions came into the football game with a 4 0 record, flying high, and they got off to a very bad start and trailed 21 to nothing in that football game and never were able to recover. They're trying to certainly rectify that for this particular year. First and 10, Chelmsford. The ball is at the 38 yard line of North Andover. Motion man, fake to the motion man. While it's looking for a man, he has a touchdown if he can get there. Not quite as a flag. And let's see what the flag is. May have been roughing the passer. I think it was Passing ineligible. Oh. I'd like moving. it to be roughing the passer, but I think it's ineligible oh, yeah. downfield. How do they see where the flag is lying? Let's let the referee tell us. Ineligible, ineligible receiver downfield, downfield number, number six. six. Repeat, Repeat the dial, five, five yards. You say number six? Six. That's what I thought he said. So that's a uh, five yard penalty. It's going to be first and 15. And the ball is now back to the 43-yard line. It's an interesting, Manny Marshall was the eligible receiver. That's right. <laughs> it almost made a circus catch. Yes. Yeah. With his speed, he doesn't Chelsea need a head start, I don't think. <laughs> Wilder keeps it, comes left, makes a nice spin cut, but he's brought down. It's going to be second down and about 14. 12, 6, and 9 in the tackle for, the, for North Andover. Right down by number 12, uh, Caleb Agbor, and number 73, Jake O'Neill. Caleb Agbor, yeah, 12. Agbor is uh, one of the tacklers. He was the primary tackle. No gain on the play. It's second and 15 for the Lions. Looking for a spread the field. Oh, wow, they had tons of room yeah. if he could have stayed on his feet. As it is, he made a nice game. Uh, we caught him. Uh, uh, he, he read it well. Uh, he was hoping to hit uh, Kai Everett on the swing loop, but uh, he was picked up by the backer. But that was the key for, for Kyle, and he was able to cut up inside and just get tripped up, or he had a lot of room to run. Third and eight. Wilder runs out of the pocket and is taken down. Yeah. So he is sacked at the 40 yard line. I don't know what the Lions Sack will do at the 40. They haven't sent the punter on yet, mm. but it looks like they're going to. Yeah, that was a coverage sack in my Certainly opinion. Certainly was. That's where the athletes can really help you out. So a promising drive is uh, Fourth down and 12 stopped. From the 40. Danny Craig, Walensky. Number 10, Danny Craig to punt. And 34, uh, McNaught. Mike McNaught are the two deep backs. Craig huh? hits a nice punt. Nice punt. Get a bounce. Yes. Cover it now. Cover, Cover it. Knock it out. Oh, nice I, job. No, they said no. Uh, Touchback. 
It must have been I just over the line. Yeah, that was close. I couldn't see the uh, lion that was hustling well, down to make that hustle, play. Hustle play right there was. So each team's had the football and each team has had to punt it. That's where uh, penalties will get you off schedule yep. and just yeah, get you behind the chains, as they say. Yep. Make a mess of things. First and 10 at the 20 yard line for North Andover. And you're right, the Lions uh, seem to feel as though they can run on this football team. Fitzgerald tosses on a sweep, coming up to make the play for the Lions. Not much there. Uh, nice job by the Lions. Set the edge, strung it out very well. Bragg Blag was one of the tacklers for the Lions. Oh, yeah, that game. Yeah, nice uh, shot, more Black. than I thought. Yeah, it's second and six. Yeah. Uh, they're saying five yards, so second and five yards. Okay. <laughs> North Andover second and five. Just the old Delaware wing T sweep with pulling guards. They run a nice inside uh, trap reverse off of this too. Not this time. And very conservative play calling here for not the Andover. Yeah, that was the uh, the d fullback dive. Off of the sweep action. 24 was the ball carrier, and his name is, that's Federico. James, one of the captains, James Federico. It's, we'll call it still third and five, maybe third and four. Third and four for the Hanover from there, 26. Well, we may see uh, Fitzgerald's arm. I think you're right going to see it in the air this time. That's right. He sends his best receiver uh, out to his left. He tosses it back this way, and it's incomplete. Yeah. So it's Pass fourth down. That was quick. Yeah, yeah. He uh, he did not have a good grasp on no. the ball in that throw. That wasn't the QB that no. we saw warming up, <laughs> no, was it? <laughs> they traded jersey somewhere on the bench. <laughs> That's right. Well, Brings sophomore. Down and four. That's right. So the kicker again is Bethel. He is standing at about his 15 yard line. Back deep is Mary Marshall. And a timeout. Time is low. Defense. Defense. Chelmsford. So their first timeout of the first half. Were they a little shy of player? I don't know. They, uh, they very well could have been, Howie. I was uh, looking at the punter's depth. And uh, jumps with schedule uh, is a mountain starting to climb now with yep. not the end of next week with Tewksbury. Um, week after that with Westford. Those are three quality games that are coming on the schedule right in a row. Want to welcome yeah. uh, Mr. Simone into the booth with us tonight. It's always a pleasure to have him with us. He doesn't critique us too much. He's that's like, that's nice of him. We need he needs a pencil and a pad of paper for stats. We're a little shy. That's right. We're we shy could, we a man. Use your help. There's another pop up for the punt, and the Lions I, almost get there. I think it was. I think touched. they did get there. It's a Go good north end of a bounce. I can't. Uh. I think the Lions are going to take uh, advantage of, of that snapper. Line. Yeah, I, I was watching. Uh, Pre-game and that I don't know who the snapper is out there right now. I Matt Roy is his name. Uh, number 55 is the snapper. Because okay, I'm. Yeah, all right. We're looking to see who was tipped. Whoa, that was McCarthy. McCarthy, yeah, and he I, says he I got I think it. he touched it. Yeah. yeah, I think it was tapped. Chunksford's third offensive possession of the first half. Good field position. They're at the 44-yard line. Malachi weaves Bob, he's on his feet, and he nice. picks up for his down yardage. Nice quick feet there by Malachi, for sure. First down. He's tough to bring down, and he's tough to find. Yeah. I couldn't <laughs> find him. 
That's a game from the 44 that down to the 33, I think. Malachi again, and he picks up good yardage. Malachi's doing Malachi an excellent job right now. It's a good first down yardage. Yeah, a couple of pulling guard, a couple of pulling guard and tackle, right guard, right tackle. Seven or eight on the play, they're at the 25 yard line. A little bit of a hurry up here now. This is Wilder and nothing. There seems to be some confusion that there. That was Malachi. not smooth. Exactly no. by nine, yeah, Malachi's hot and he wanted that. <laughs> Lost the yard. It's third and four. This is, as how we talked about a few minutes ago, four down territory for the Lions. Watch out. Possibly another blocker just came into the game for the Lions. I think it's uh, McCarthy. Timeout? No. This is the Lions' heavy package. They usually run out of this, and they are this time. Malachi up oh, the nice middle. He's there. got a he needs a block, and he's able to pick up great yardage up the middle. There must have been some really great blocking in the that uh, make that hole. How it yeah, it was I number two. Let's see if we can find no. it. No, they're going right away. Oh, we have a whistle. Yeah. Motion. False start. False start. Uh, that's what we don't. Offense. That's the Number danger with going four. fast. Five yard penalty. Repeat. First, first down. down. So now it's first and 15, and this uh, five yard penalty hurt the Lions the last time. Their yeah. offensive line is doing a very, very good job I'm just in this game. Comment. They are getting off the ball real quick. Staying with their blocks and creating some kind of running lanes. First and 15 at the 18. Wilder looks to throw it, has a receiver. And incomplete, just a little bit over his head. I think that yeah. was McCarthy. It needs to put a little more air yeah, under Yeah, a that. little bit, because yeah. he had him beaten. He did. He Third and uh, 15 now, uh, second and 15, excuse me. He did get behind the defensive back. Yep. Another pass. And oh, while the tucks it under, gets a block on the outside and did a nice job to get that ball. Possibly oh, well, first down yardage. Needs to be inside the five, and he's just outside. So it's third down and about three. And they're at the five. This is, this is Malachi Everett. Ah, nice. Touchdown, the Lions have scored first. What a great drive that was. That was about a 48-yard uh, touchdown. Yeah, they started on the 38, I 38 believe. 38-yard touchdown drive. Yep. And the Lions have six points on the board. Michael Beerworth will come in to attempt an extra point. I'm not going to say anything right now. I'll make a comment <laughs> after Michael's uh, attempt. Manny Marshall is the holder. Nice series by Kai there. He ran the ball very well. Made Extremely good well. And the kick is up, and the kick is good. And what I was going to say is that is his 14th uh, extra point in a row. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Nice job by Wilder, too. Yep, and here's the replay. Kai, roll the shoulder. There's a nice view of Chelmsford Center on a Friday night. Seems Holiday to have quieted weekend. down a little. It has. 
Beerworth to kick it, and I said uh, 14. He has 18 PATs in a row, and he bombs another one, and this is out of the back of the, uh, going to go out of the back of the end zone, about three yards deep. Hang time was terrific. Hang time. Michael Berwick's kick goes to the end zone. And the wind is not much of a factor. No, so it, it is not. North Andover will get it. First and 10 at the 20. A minute, 12 seconds to play. Quarter number one. Simonian Stadium, Chumpsford. One of the fastest first quarters I think we it had was a, this year. Except for the running times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, except for the running times. That's right. right. And the fans have uh, filled in the bleachers fairly nicely. All right, they have uh, trips. Trips to, to the, the quarterback's top. right. Yeah. And he runs a sweep. Oh, he was held. That's, I think the flag came in. And it did. That's going to be yeah. a holding call against North Andover. Yeah, that was a little bit of a... a, a yeah, you'll see it on the replay. I, yeah, even Mr. Smonian called holding that Holding. Offense, offense, number nine. Ten-yard penalty. Repeat the down. So there's a uh, good start for the Lions. It's first and 20. Here's the uh, North Andover c head coach. His name is J John Dubinsky. He is in his eighth year. He has a record of 48 wins and 33 losses. He's done a good job over there, including a 13-0 and zero team a couple of years ago that was state champions. We have a new quarterback, too, number 22. Ripley. That's uh, Walensky. He has been mostly a running quarterback. Well, they're going out of the pistol. He keeps it. Uh, the Lions smother him. Let's see who's in the middle of that scrum. Thomas Brown was one of them. So it is going to be uh, second and still about 20. He might have Another lost a couple. 33, Jack Walsh. Yeah, he's... Uh, second down and 20 from the 10. Still North, 20, pardon me. In North Andover's defense, they have not had really good field position in this game. All right, Fitzgerald is back in. The thrower. He looks to throw it. Looking he looks to throw deep. it. And it's broken up. Good defensive play there. And yeah, that's McCarthy. Nine, Jay Salfrank, broken up by number 11, John McCarthy. Yeah, there's good covers here. The receivers got a little close together. They and did, didn't they? They did seem to. Uh, Third down and 20 for North Andover. You could see the arm, though, that that it's young quarterback down. has. He comes back into the huddle with the play from his coach, uh, John Dubinsky. And the Lions just have to keep the receivers in front of him and make the tackle. Tosses to the side. Quick screen. Frank a screen, and the Lions bury it. Good defensive series thus far. Boy, that was a great defensive yep. series. Wolinski was the receiver. Pass is complete to number 22, Zach Wolinski. That's the end of the quarter. And the first quarter ends with the Lions on top by a score of 7 to nothing. They will be awaiting a North Andover punt, and they should get good field position again. Right. I wonder what that snap will do this time. All right, the first quarter highlights here. Wilder throwing deep over the middle. Almost caught, but a little bit behind. Manny Marshall had to turn a little... Try to make the catch. Kai Everett on an excellent, excellent run up the middle. Carried a few people with him. Here's the one a run by Wilder after we read that the uh, swing was covered. Got to lower his shoulder a little bit there, Kyle. Protect yourself. And here's the touchdown by Kyle Everett for the Lions touchdown. Make it, and the kick by Beerworth was good. Make it 7 nothing, and that was 8 the 18th consecutive extra point by Michael. And that's the fifth touchdown for Mr. Everett. Marshall is standing inside the 50, uh, almost the 40-yard line. This could be a, uh, a block attempt here. 
I would think it's a good idea. That close the, to the end zone. And the, the snaps have not been good. Snaps uh, have not been good. No. Bethel to punt it. That's a really That's good a snap. Better. And Marshall gets under it, calls a fair oh. catch, drops it. And the Lions will get it at the 48 yard yeah. line of North Andover. Man, he was a little undecided. Was he going to return yeah, it? And that was a little Marshall. scary. Yeah, and then at the last moment, he waved a fair catch and uh, lost some of the concentration, but. Turned out okay. Turned out all right. All Made right. the recovery. All but right, let's go the other way now from left to right. We'll try to get some of the Lions offensive linemen as we go along. Everything's opposite on your TV screen. It really, the Lions <laughs> are going left to right, even though it looks the uh, opposite way. Long count by Wilder. Looks over to the sideline. Well, they're going from our left to right. Yes. Number 54 is uh, Cooper Collins, I believe. Yep. And a flag. False start. Offense. Five-yard penalty, repeat first That's down. the third five-yard. If there's anything to uh, get a little upset about, yeah. that's it. Yeah. Third time that they've been penalized, and it's first and 15. Did he give a number? I didn't. Uh, he didn't give it, no. Okay. I was watching uh, uh, 54 and 66. They pulled and went right, but they were not the, uh, they were not the culprits. It was the same play. Everett oh. bounces it to the outside. And he gets to the 49-yard line. 24 Malachi Everett with a carry. Yeah, we've got a lion down, downfield. That's Cooper Collins. I think it is Cooper Collins, but he's got he's up. Second and nine from the 49. So it is a oh, yeah. second down and about nine oh, for the Lions. Cooper lost his helmet, so he had to go off for a play. He was downfield, throwing a downfield block, so well done by Cooper. Wilder in a keep. Wilder keeping it. Comes across the 50 to the 48. It's going to be third down now and down nine, about eight for the first down. Lions right back to the line of scrimmage. They don't let the defense rest very much, do they? Oh, it's a real hurry up right now. They're getting the plays in a lot quicker. Practices are crisp. The Lions are used to this. Wilder has a good pocket, throws it, and almost a circus catch. Good try, Manny. Oh, that was Kai. Kai. Kai, Kai Everett. Sorry. Broken up by number 24. Uh, uh, Walensky, I believe. Is that? No, that's uh, Federico. Oh, Federico. Punting situation for Chelmsford. Catchable ball. Yes, it was. Yeah. Fourth down. Seven to go for the first to down. Play. Trying to keep North End of a pin deep. Good snap. Danny Craig gets a nice high kick. This could be dangerous. That's what I pick it up. Then it's a touchdown. No? No? Why not? You can't advance it? I I guess you can't advance a muff. But he's still awarding it to uh, North, North Andover. Andover. How can that be? Oh, the Lion coaches are just beside themselves. I don't understand. How can this not be Chelmsford football? Well, here's a replay. Total muff. I don't understand it. I, I've never seen it before. Unless they, unless they did not see it touched by the North Andover player. Maybe. And so, and, but that, that was definitely touched. They're getting the, getting the ball at the 11. First and 10. I would love to hear the explanation on that. First and 10 from there, back in at quarterback. Looks to throw it on first down. And it's completed. Caught by number seven, uh, Cam Partridge. Partridge. Yeah. He's their go-to guy, and he gets him out of a big hole all the way out to the 32-yard line. Nice fade route by uh, Partridge. Good, good air under the ball by Fitzgerald. Nice catch. 
Yeah, and that's a spark for the uh, Scarlet Knights. Yeah. Get them out of the shadow of their own goal. It did. There's the uh, replay on it. I still want to know yeah. about that punt. Hand off coming this way. And pretty good yardage. First down yardage. Ball carrier number three. Yeah. That's uh, Patrick Ray. I think it's Roy. Roy, Patrick Roy, pardon me. First and 10, the ball is at the 45, yeah, 47 yard line. Federico, I mean, I'm sorry, Walensky, the ball carrier. Yeah. Number 22, Zach Walensky at the carry. And North Andover is showing its uh, first uh, spark on offense, yeah, pickup of four, second and six. They're showing a little more urgency here in this, uh, uh, in this quarter. The ball is across the 50 yard line, to just to about the 49 yard line. Double wing set up. Sweep. Sweep. That's uh, Walensky. Short of the first down. It's going to be third and about four. Good job. Not much of a not much of a uh, gain there. Not at all. No. No, he didn't even move the sticks. Yeah. It maybe lost a yard. Yeah. Third and five. Big play for the Lions defense, but it's really a big play for the North End of our offense. Hey, they get to toss and drop. Is that. that a fumble? Cover, cover. Yeah, out. pick it up. What a hit he took out there, and that was McCarthy. Uh, Let's flag. take a look. Here it, it is. Blag. A flag. It was number three. Uh, it was deflected, too. Deflected. Number Danny 10. Danny Craig. Danny Craig, nice job. Fourth down. So the quick thrust of North Andover is negated by the Lions. Cam Bethel is standing on his 38 yard line. Marshall is deep for the Lions. Number 18, Camden Bethel, a kick. And they've cured the snap situation. Looks like this is a line drive punt. And it hopefully gets to the end zone. And it, yeah, did. it did. All right, first and 10 Lions at the 20. Good, good decision by Manny on yeah, that. Yeah, he didn't have much of a choice, I don't think. And he made the right one. Okay, with 8.27 to go, quarter number two. Chumsford gets the football. Need a nice 80-yard uh, drive here. They need... Uh, well, they start, they've moved the ball well on the ground. Yes, they time have. Time is out. Defense. So North Andover takes its first time out of the first half. Each team has taken one. Yep. We'll see if we can get some clarity uh, for you fans uh, at halftime on that punting situation. The only thing I can think of is that it was... Uh, uh, not touched by anybody, and we picked it up and ran it in, thinking it was. So, but so in other words, know. it was uh, not a dead ball. Not a, it wasn't a live ball. It wasn't a live ball, right? But I don't know how right. it came out to the 11 and not out at the 20. Uh, that's, that's a good point. Unless that's maybe they the official they marked it off where it landed you know where the punt where landed jumps were touched before it. it was touched yeah. or when it was touched correct yeah. that must be the explanation yeah it certainly appeared to us that it was touched yes by the receiver yes. i thought the he receiving hit it. team whatever it's uh over with and it's first and ten lions Ooh, almost a high snap. Wilder keeps it. He's got good yardage. He gets a block on the outside. He's up to the 40, still on his feet. He'll nice out the 42. Kind of a dynamic running uh, duo, Howard. Yeah. <laughs> Two guys that are piling up yardage. Yeah, yeah. Kai and uh, Kyle. 
And good blocking again. I, we, we really need to find out. Let's see. Uh, who's I responsible? The here. Kept by Kyle Wilder he keeps it again. Bounces outside, inside. Stays on his feet. Still on his feet. Close to first down yardage. That's a monster run right there. On that play, I was able to spot Co Ball's Cooper Collins doing Kyle a nice Wilder. job. Created a little running hole in there. Danny Craig on the offensive line. Uh, Ryan Clark on the offensive line. Those guys are blocking Here's well. A replay. Let's see. Look for 54 right there. And 68 for the line. Oh, Wilder throws it, and it's cut intercepted. His arm was hit, I believe. Pass is intercepted by number 22, John. Walensky uh, on the uh, interception, and I think uh, if we see the replay, I think Wilder's arm was hit. Take right, a look. Here we are. No, yeah, I, the way it came out, it sort of looked like it might have been. He was, he was hit. He was hit. <laughs> and the, I'm sure First and ten for North the, the arm was there, influenced. First and ten, 41 yard line. North Andover should be behind a lot more in this game. Oh, an interception. Is that Clark or Craig? Craig. Uh, Danny Craig. Danny Craig on the interception. Right. Oh, t hopefully we take a look at this Passes one. Yeah, nice job. He just he's, he got right up there. And Here it is. 73 was coming out. Woof. <laughs> Danny was right there for it. Da I think he saw that one in practice. That play had to be yeah. seen in practice. Yeah. Well done, Dan. And excellent hands. Of course, he is a great tight end. It's first and 10 on the just inside the 20-yard line for the Lions. Lots of time left in the Chelsea half. Starts first and 10 from the this is where we need 19. the 20-yard drive. <laughs> All right, 64. Bruce Lindstedt at right tackle. All right, we're starting. I got some numbers here. Everett puts Marshall in motion, gives it to Marshall, and he runs right into a North Andover defender. Played that well, number 24 for North Andover. And that is Federico. Good football player, one of their captains. Loss of a yard. I'm not sure you have to be too fancy with these guys. No, I was uh, kind of run right at them, yeah. I think. And Manny could have run it up inside. He, he yeah. ran around his blockers. Wilder. And spins. Oh, no. Little short. Short, I'm sorry. He's, uh, it's going to be third down and Kyle about. With the carry. Where are they? The 15? The They're about the 17. Uh, they're saying 16. Right? So it's seven, it's seven yards seven to go. Third and seven. Wilder is a big guy. Looks the Kai, throw. Kai. Pass Kai. Kai makes a cut. He's got it inside the 10. That's yep. going to be first and goal for the Lions. Down to the seven. To number 24, Malachi Everett. Tackle made by number 24. Everett on the reception. And for Everett, that is his. Yep. I'm sorry I don't have that Tell one, but we'll see if I can find it. They caught, uh, they caught North Andover in the blitz. Number 24 was a, should have been out covering Kai, but he uh, was in the backfield. First and goal from the six-yard line. Wilder. Doesn't get anywhere. Second and goal from the six yard line. In fact, he lost a yard. Uh, should be on the eight, I believe, now. That one might have been a give uh, on that one, on the read. He's actually on uh, nine and a half. Looking at the uh, uh, nine yard line. Danny Craig time? Or is Danny Second not in the game? The uh, Sometimes Ryan Clark spells him. Pitch. Quick toss. Nice cut. Kai to the goal line. We got a flag. Ball's carried by number 24. Malachi Everett. Below, block below the waist, right around the eight yard line. So the Lions are going to stab in that foot one more time. 
Holding, Holding. offense, uh, number 54, 10 yard penalty. Uh -oh. That's Cooper Collins. That's Cooper Collins. Where is he? I, uh, uh, right there, uh, yeah, I guess. I think yeah. maybe. On number nine. Yep. So it's going to be second down and goal, but now the Lions are back where they started, just about at the 18 yard line. Second and goal from the 18. Let's look for McCarthy over here. John McCarthy, single covered. Right. Oh, no, that's, that's late. It's a uh, oh, incomplete pass. Supposed to be a screen. Yeah. Third and goal from the 18. Not the end of it. Has dodged bullet after bullet and should be behind by two or three scores. That's not good. You can't keep them hanging around. Third and 18. Third and goal from the 18. Pass was a little high. Kai had to. Yeah. Yep, he may right. have had to, Kyle may have had to throw it over somebody. Yep. But. Look out. And he's he did. He, he, he right. hit his arm again. This could get picked Ooh, off. That should have been picked off. Yep. Field goal. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. I, the, Number six is talking to 55 saying, well, what are you doing? All right, this could be the field goal. Team. It is. This will be Michael Beerworth attempting a field goal from about the 25 to a 35 yard field goal. And that's too bad. Michael they would have had it first and goal. goal. I mean, they would have had it uh, third and goal at the two. This is well within Michael's range. Yes, this uh, is. Uh, leg. Marshall, the holder. No, oh. no good. A yeah. little bit off on the timing there, not the end of the Dodgers, uh, how many bullets? They have a, a vest on that <laughs> is uh, getting peppered, but this very much in this football game. And we'll, we'll be back after this break. I, I can't. Okay, we're back. Not the end of a starting at its 20. Straight ahead and might as 24 in the carry. Yeah, and ran right into 34. Michael McDonald. I think it was uh, Thomas Brown. Number 88, Ryan Clark. Ryan Clark. I'm sorry. James Federico, the ball carrier. Second, Second and nine. nine. From the 21. Pot. Cam Potridge is at the bottom of the uh, left of the quarterback. Toss completed. First down and much more. Uh, number Passes nine on the reception. Nine, for the South Frank. For, not Tackle by Mitri. Tackle me by number seven, Jake. Joe Sayes. Sal Frank. Jeff, Jake Sal Frank is first catch of the night. So it is a first down to the 40 yard line. First down and 10 from the North End of 40. North Andover has two timeouts left. He toss it inside and oh, caught. Great catch. Yeah, nice catch in there. Federico. Walensky, right? 22. Walensky, yes, Walensky. Just a slant pattern. We told you they had good skill people, and there's the example right there. This is a very good catch. Second and three yep. from the 47. And a defensive back was right there. That was uh, Everett, I believe. Second and two, throwing again. Lions had a blitz, and it's intercepted. Black. 
Blake coming back across the 50, still on his feet. What a return to the 40-yard line. I was looking for a flag, and I didn't see yes, one. Oh, no, nice job by the Lions. Second pickoff. Now it's important to get this into the end zone. It's going to be first and 10. Lions have two timeouts. There is the interception by Black. Huh? Block in the back during the return. 10-yard oh. penalty. First down. I thought there was oh, a block in the back. Right, it was right here. Yeah. yeah. Right at the end of the run. Yeah. That's why I didn't see the flag, but I did see the block. <laughs> so it's first. Day. That's why we're not officials. We're up here. <laughs> first and ten, Chelmsford. Where were they going to put this? Uh, At the 50, 48. Looks like it's right on the. Fi oh. Oh, you haven't marked it off yet. Oh, okay. I didn't they think were, so. They were changing footballs. It's. All right. It's going to be on the 43. Yep. First and ten at the 43. Lions have uh, two timeouts two left. Two timeouts. Looking for the swing. Wilder throws it to Marshall. Oh, he got a good block on the outside. Now that guy like a blur. Yeah. First Everett down. takes it for first down to the 45. That's a pickup of seven, about 11 yards. There it is. And look at that block. Wow. First and 10, Chelmsford, ball at the 45-yard line. Wilder keeps it, fake the toss, spins away from a tackler, takes it across the 40. This is going to be second and about two. Yeah, it's a quarterback draw. Yes. Tripped up by number 73, Jake O'Neill. Lions going quickly now. Second and three for the 38. Second and three for the Lions. Good read. Everett had a great read by Wilder. And Everett is torching North Andover right now. He has it down to the 22-yard line. 23. First and 10, Chelmsford. The clock is really not a factor at the moment. They have plenty of time. Here's the run. That was a great read. You're right, Howie. Yeah, good block. Good hustle down there. I think it's is that Thomas Brown, 58? Yeah, and a blitz. Right, That's what's exactly helping North Andover. The Lions are not able to pick up the blitz. Number nine is the uh, North Andover player. Uh, it was number six that time. Six, yeah. that's right. Six and nines. I always had trouble with those. Hunter Scott, yeah. yeah. He's an inside linebacker. So it's second down and 17 now for the Lions. Now the clock's becoming a factor. Looks to Malachi. Oh, looks, oh, looks, no. looks, 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 oh, yeah, looks. No, 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 no. Almost picked. Third down, 17 for the Lions. Everett was wide open again on the swing. They show a replay here. He was crying for the ball, and, and Kyle was going downfield, but he was right here by the Lions bench. There he is. He just, and just there's nobody around. Throw me the ball. Wow. And this was a. Good protection. Wilder steps up, makes a uh, throw, and incomplete. Uh, It'll be fourth down. That was a jump ball with the it two co double coverage there. A little bit of a bump, but I, I think it was a good non-call. No. Fourth down and 17. Yep. See if we can find the bump. Again. And was that Marshall? Yes. Uh, okay. Yes, that's Marshall. There was a there was a slot back that was open on the sideline. Same thing. Yeah. That play, and you no, know, he could pick up some of the yardage. Oh, it's fourth down for the Lions. They're at the 30-yard line. 17 to go for a first down. Will they bring the blitz? Yes. They do. And he's floating it up and for a bag and Good incomplete. Job. Not the end of a stymies yeah, the Lions really one right more line. time. They just cannot dent the defense of North Andover. Uh, but the funny thing is, they have dented it. They have. But just they haven't been able to crush it. No. 
First and 10, not hand over. The ball is at the 30. The Lions will get the ball to start the second half, but this has been a half of lost opportunity. Yes, they should have uh, at least one score and have. Yeah, I, I think Mr. Smonian's right. Maybe two or three scores. Let's see what North Andover does. They're going to hand it off. Power. And pretty good first down yardage. Lions are playing soft there, expecting yep. a throw with right. the close to the end of the half coming up. North Andover in no hurry to first. stop the clock. No. If the Lions stop them here, they could stop the clock. Lions. They're doing the same thing again, Howie, almost conceding the first down. Yeah. And didn't get it. Call a timeout. No. They're not going to. Number 34. Michael I'm surprised. It's run. going to be. Uh, 88 Ryan Clark and yep. number 11 John McCarthy. They may get stop. another playoff. I doubt it. <laughs> Third down and one from the North Andover, they, You're right. They may, but I don't <laughs> think they're in any hurry to. This one, I think, is going to go deep, deep, deep. That should have been a penalty. What, delay? I thought it was, they had too many people in the huddle. Oh. It's not going to matter, but that's one thing they haven't done, is they have not committed uh, penalties. Ineligible. Very good. But it's not going to matter. He's still confused. Run yep. the clock. Yep. And they won't get a playoff. They Even won't. It is. It's, nope. a half. it's over. Half is over. The Lions, the good news, they're up by seven. The bad news is they probably should be up by 21. Yep. All right. It's better than it was last year, and the Lions are on top. We will have a great halftime show with the Chelmsford High School yeah, marching yeah, band. Uh, we will be back in about 15 minutes, and stay with us. Exciting game. <laughs>
Welcome back, everyone. Bruce Brown along with Howie Neal, Judge Simone, and we're at Alumni Stadium. The Lions are about to receive the second half kickoff. They lead by a score of seven to nothing. But that's the good news. They've had a number of opportunities. Let's hope they can get uh, started in the second half. Kicking off is Camden Bethel, back deep, Marshall and Everett. Here's Bethel's kick, and it's a bouncing. They didn't want to kick it really to it's anybody. A good kick. And Marshall has it straight up the middle. Has some room and taken down at and the we got a flag. 28 and a flag. Back by so that's going to set the Lions back, I'm sure. And this this guy out on this side has made a number of calls against Johnson. It's holding. So 10 yards further back. Well, they'll be back to the 19. Block in the back during the return. Oh. Number seven, 10 yard penalty. Oh, number, number seven, seven did he say? Joe Taze. Yeah, Joe gets called. A number of Lions have committed infractions tonight. I'd like to see what their uh, numbers, so we don't have the stats on number of penalty yards, but it's getting up there. It is up there. I, I'd go uh, 55, 60. I would guess, yeah, yeah. I think that's the third major one. Yeah. All right, the Lions, first and 10. They're at the 24-yard line. Wilder Howell. keeps it and gains very little. Kyle Wilder with the carry, brought down by number 56. Lions didn't run the ball well in the first half. Not the end over now. has started to uh, pound the line of scrimmage because the Lions have not been able to throw it well. In fact, I think they only completed one pass. Am I correct? Uh, well, to to uh, Everett. Yes, I think you're correct. Going to throw it here, and it's caught. Flag. Flag gets first over down. the. Good job, that little extra effort got him the first down. He's tough to take down, yeah. and that's a completion out to the 34. Five yard line, I believe. Jumps for first and ten from yes. there, 36. Kai. Everett to get outside, looks for a block, gets Still a block, outside. gets outside and picks up good yardage. That seems to be something that the Lions can exploit. Well, Kai is doing a nice job of uh, no, bouncing into the outside or cutting up inside. He's finding the running lane. Yes. Uh, the, the offensive line stays with their blocks and uh, Kai is able to take advantage. Good solid four, seven four, yards eight. on that play to the 38 yard Check line. Another chance. K Kai's got it again. Straight yeah. ahead. That's Taze, I That's think. Taze, yes. Joe Taze, his first carry of the night. Yeah. Joe had a nice game last week. Yes, he did. And the very nice game. That I was able to see on the TV before we get the blacked out. He scored his first touchdown last week. He did a very nice job spelling Kai. Kai is back in there. He has it. He comes ahead, good routage again, protects the ball to the 25-yard line, yep. another first down. Guy's doing a lot better job of letting the blocker set up. He's not outrunning the block. Now, His vision seems to be, uh, as I agree with you, it seems to be so much better. First and 10, Chumsford. Kai again, gets outside. And picks up about five yeah. to the 20-yard th line. Yeah, from our angle, that was a perfect example of Kai waiting for the block to be set, and then he was able to uh, make it, his cut. It, it really was. You're absolutely correct. Lions trying to establish something here with the opening kickoff in the second half. Wilder keeps it. And not quite as decisive that time. Gets it to the 22-yard line. The it's going to be third and two. If we look at this, do you think that that, that, that was a missed handoff, or do you think it was a des designed uh, run? I wasn't sure. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure, only because I don't know if it is supposed to be a definite keep with the, with the fake or if it's supposed to be an option. This is Taze. Yep. Taze a little bit uh, bigger back. He's across the uh, 10 to about the 9. First and goal at the 9-yard line. And they've got another, another back in there. It's not Kai this time. Either. This is Taze again. He's Close in. to the goal. He's in for the touchdown. 
Lions, a 10-yard touchdown on the second of the season for Joe yeah. Senior Captain Joe Taze. Good blocking up there by uh, Linstead and uh, Cooper Collins. Boy, give a medal to that offensive line on that drive, yeah. Howie. Yeah, they did an excellent job. Just beautiful blocking. It's Good a surge. Here's the replay. And I had a uh, uh, yeah, Cooper Collins. He's, is Cooper the left guard now? I'm, I'm not sure. I, I just I saw someone pull around, but I couldn't catch the number. Beerworth, low snap, good kick though. Good job by Marshall to get that thing down. And as we were saying, speaking of, or I was saying at halftime, uh, Mike Burwitz, that kick there for the extra point is all he needs to do for that field goal. That's it. He tried to put a little too much into yep. it. Uh, we'll take a break. We'll be back shortly. Start there again with the Chelmsford kickoff. Michael Bearworth to kick it off. He's kicked a couple right through the end zone, and the Lions would like to see him do that again. That was an impressive. Uh, they started on the uh, 38. I don't remember exactly, uh -huh. but that was a great drive by the Lions. Yeah. Bearworth yeah. booms it. It's high. It's going to be returned this time yeah. at about the five. And. Got it to the 24-yard well, line. Well, we're going to get a flag here. Get, get out of there. A the little bit of uh, extracurricular yeah. activity. Yeah, we don't need that, Lions. Not after what you just did. First and 10 at the 24-yard line. Yeah. 25, I'm sorry. Andover's first, not the Andover's first, first possession of the second half. Lions trying to end a uh, six-year not the end of a little drought winnings right. winning streak. Let's we'll say it's a mini drought for the Lions. Yeah, it definitely <laughs> is, and one of the few teams that the Lions over the course of the series have not dominated. No. Pick up a four. Second down and six. Second and five from the 30. Single back. They're going to throw it to the side. Oh, I thought that was going to be a lateral, but a nice cover out there by the Lions. Right. That's McCarthy for one. Pass complete to number 34, Michael McNaught. Right. Excellent third job. Third. It's third in the yard. Let me show a replay here. Here yes. it comes. Uh, he wasn't uh, battling, he was just turning to go. 34 was the uh, receiver, and that is... Mm. Oh, McNaught. Excuse me. McNaught to make the catch. It's third and a yard. Oh, uh, should be a that, flag that there. That looked like a fa uh, false start. He stopped him, though. I oh, think they did. The They're going to no. give him the mark, and I thought they jumped. They went too quickly. Yeah, the dive back. The single back did move quickly. Number 24, James Federico with the ball. Federico with the ball. It's going to be first and 10. Let's see if we uh, look one more time with Howie's <laughs> sharp vision. <laughs> Any replay of that, Tom? No, I, no, I mean, guess no not. Time. It's okay. all right. Not a big 35. deal. First and 10. Lions are hitting hard on defense. All right, single coverage down here and bottom of the screen. This could be trouble. There Throwing it, it up for him. And overthrow. <laughs> yep. You called that one. Yeah, that's Partridge where they were going. Who was our Partridge. defender out there? 23, Jake Brooks. Defender was 20, 
22? Does that sound correct? 23, I think. 23. Uh, wasn't Sheridan, Jake Brooks? Yep. yep. 23, Jake Brooks, sophomore. He's been coming along as the season's gone along. Good. It's second and 10 for North Andover. Hotchard and Walensky over here. Is that same play and, and good coverage. Not much there. Coming up quickly. Number three, Black. That's Black. Pass complete number 22. He's had a, a very good Tackle game. Solid, solid all around game by Brian. Yes, he has. It's Second about third and five now. The ball is at the 40 yard line. I'll say it, Bruce, up to this point, this is the play of the game right here. Right now, the momentum would stay big yep. time with Chumpsford. You're absolutely right. Yeah, this is a... Pass. Back to throw it. And it's, oh, oh. boy. Pass broken up by was that Joe Mitri? Yes, Mitri, it was. again. Joe has become a pass defender. Right, he was right in the throwing lane there. Well right. done, Joe. I'm not sure North Andover is going to punt this. They're at the 40. It's fourth and five. Uh, here's the replay. Joe right through his hands. Last week he had that play. It was that Joe? It was Joe. Yeah, it was four. Joe. Yes. yes. He, he had that one last week. Yep, that was. North Andover was going to... Uh, Take a huge chance here. This might be the play of the game. Yeah. <laughs> For them anyway. This is mine was an asterisk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Time, Time out. out, not the end over. He was waiting to see what Time out. Offense. Offense. He wanted to see the Lions Ladies set up for the formation. I wonder if he will change his mind. I doubt it. This is a, this is a huge Cheers risk, I think. You're still in the game. Um, if you don't get this, Captain you're Hurry in danger of being out of the game. But Coach Dubinsky uh, certainly knows Melissa his stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was watching the, as the uh, North End of a huddle was meeting with Coach, and I see Taylor one of the assistants Pauly. talking to Partridge about a, a, a move on a, on a pass route, and I'm con Simon. concerned that that's where they're going. I would, th I would think that's definitely their target. Yeah, he was trying to do a little swim move. Yeah, he's yeah. number seven, by yes. the way. Yep. We'll see where he lines up. Hard to miss with those uh, pink socks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, October is uh, breast cancer month. Might make them faster. Yeah, yeah. Alley Brothers. Yeah, let's see. The Lions have had uh, 11 different people score points this year. Scotty Sheridan has the uh, unenviable task of covering Partridge here. Show blitz. Nope. They're looking this way, throwing it deep, and it's ah, incomplete. Nice Great coverage. Oh, Brooks. That Brooks. Same guy? Yep. Wow. That's a pretty good sophomore, I would say. Yeah. Also on the cheer squad. Pretty sure. Isabel it's 23, Batista. isn't it? It is yeah, 23, it is. yes. Yep. Kathleen Cormier. There was some contact beforehand, but Regan Ellard. Nice throw by Fitzgerald going to his, uh, to his non-favorite side. Alexis yeah. Nice coverage. He will be heard Alexis from uh, down Cameron. the road. Yeah, uh, absolutely. That's for sure. Show it's first and ten chunks for at the 40. He showed good, uh, good height and on going for the ball. He didn't wait for it to come down to him. And he did the right thing. He didn't catch it because the Lions get the ball in much better position. That was a definite uh, good decision. Wilder straight ahead. And picks up a good solid five yards. Oh, nice one there by Kyle. Excellent job by Kyle. Our statistician, uh, we got to send a shout out to Dave Markham. He's not able to be with us tonight. And we're keeping in touch with him. He's watching uh, the game on cable. 
And Malachi, they finally have him. Loss of a couple, it's gonna be third down. And eight. Dave is uh, in ensconced in Maine, trying to chase a white ball around yeah, he's up there. doing some different type of stats. You know, right. keeping, tabs on, keeping tabs on some different stats. That's right. All right, good well, coverage. Well, looks, 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 Double looks, pumps. looks. Out of, out. And not going to catch that one. Yeah. And yeah, not the end of it. Has a player down, number 85. It's going to be fourth down to the Lions roll the dice now. Number 85 is Nate Jakes. It looks like a cramp, maybe. Yeah. By the looks of uh, his teammate trying to help him out, I think it's a, I think it's a cramp. Yeah. And he's back on his feet, all set to go. The Lions are going to punt it. Pin not the end over deep. The defense is playing well. Yes, it is. I'd angle this ball. I would not kick it straight There's down. There's no sense kicking it to them. There's no reason to. Just try to yeah. pin them. Lions were one player short. I think it was, I won't say, because I'm not sure. <laughs> Fake. Nope. Good, good snap. Good kick. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> this has been an adventure punting tonight. It, it has been, yeah. It, uh, they were just going to let it roll in the end zone, but it yep. bounced right up and hit Walensky right in the gut. Yeah. <laughs> he Surprised no as he was, he had no choice but cover it. Here it is. Yeah. Not going to touch it. Ooh. Oh, I got it. Got me. Yeah. First and ten at the seven yard line. About five to play in quarter number three. A beautiful night for football tonight. Yeah. And I straight ahead. Comes across, gets to about the 11. Lion tackle. Yep. Second and four. Uh, sorry, Ball six. six. Should be Jack second and six. Marshall on the tackle. Second and six, they're operating at the 11. And our other partner, Rob <laughs> Russo, his excuse, now get a load of this, and it's an excuse that he couldn't be here tonight because he's getting married tomorrow. Yeah. Now, now, what kind of a guy? A well, maybe he's headed out of Dodge. He's not going to show up. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> There's a flag on a North Andover illegal procedure. Priorities, Mr. Smonian says. Well, false right. start. Priorities. Offense. Yeah, Five-yard penalty. Yeah, we wish second down. We, we wish, wish him all the best. All he the and best. his bride, all the best in the world. I, I saw him this afternoon very late. And uh, I was just going to ask him a question. I said, I'll see you tonight. He says, ah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> He, said, okay. he wasn't headed north, was no. he? Uh, <laughs> no. Okay. No. I thought he might but go he with was, Dave. He was buying flowers, so I think mm. he had good intentions. That sounds good. Second and ten. Pass. Wide open. Get back there. Hit him. Oh. Marsh, uh, Everett on the coverage. Great the fake in the Marsh. backfield. Yep. And that's that man again, Partridge. Huh? Gets him out of a big hole out to the 37 yard line. I thought the ball, the pass was going to hit the chunks of defender. I thought it was going to hit him in the head, so. That's what I meant by hit him. Here it is. You'll see. But uh, no. That was an excellent catch because yep. uh, Partridge. Everett right there. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> that he was Clark. 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 Ryan, you, he had. He had, he had green. That's right. He <laughs> saw green. That's he, right. He didn't see tan. Here's the replay. Oh, Ryan. look at that sideline. Yeah. Been there, Ryan, done that. Yeah, we all have. Second and 10 at the 36-yard line. Mom is saying, don't let that happen again. <laughs> Toss to the side, completed. Knocked out of bounds. Oh, 
Gain of about five, 24 for that. Is that uh, Federico on the reception? Fitzgerald showing a nice quick release. Third and five. They're at the 40 again. They've been there for a couple of plays. Yeah. It's third down. It's three. I think McCarthy just came no. in uh, replacing Everett. Okay. He handed it off. It's nice short. Play. Oh, he's reaching ahead. Good tackle. Yep. Is that fourth and three? Mitri in on the tackle. Fourth and three. Good tackle by Joe. They're going for it. Fourth down and three from their 43. Lions have played good situational football today. They haven't over pursued. They've stayed where they're supposed to be. Thomas Brown was also in on that tackle with Joe Mitri. Fourth down, three yards to go for the first down. Oh, I'm not sure oh, he snap. was ready for that snap. And he's going to get thrown for a loss when oh. the Lions have the ball. Uh, get in the end zone, no, run the to whistle the end zone. Blown. The whistle had blown. Okay. Yep. Whoa, that's... I, th I think it was a matter of the official lost sight of the ball. Wow. And Let's see if we can see it. We saw the ball. You know, it's interesting. Some officiating crews, they kind of let the play go exactly. longer. And then the other officiating crews call it quickly. Here it is. Low snap. I see. It, it, yeah, the whistle was blown. Oh, boy. But Craig, I think by that time, Craig did have it. But the Lions work so much on stripping the football, and it's paying off. Everett. Get something out of nothing. Yeah, About up. five yards. Yeah, five. Malachi Everett with the carry. Lions uh, would love to get this one. Chelsea for second and five from the 35. Pass. Well, uh, looks off his receiver. Oh, yeah. Nice job by Kyle Lowe. Kyle did a good job. Yeah, there. Looking for a second or third yes. choice. And yes, he did. There wasn't a lot of movement by the off by the uh, receivers. They all seemed to kind of stop. And there was no one running deep. What? Not a lot of people moving around. They have two downs now to pick up uh, about four yards. Guys, the four yards, and yeah. the ball is now inside the 25. Yep, 25 yard line. Now First and here. 10, Chumsford. The Lions have, a, have had real good success running to the right. They the have. The offensive line of Linstead, uh, Cooper Collins, they've been doing a good, good job. Good by Kyle. Picks another up five. another five. Yep. Kept by number 15, Kyle Wilder. So, another first shot. down. Good gain on first down. It's going to be second and about uh, five and a half. Ryan Ward, number 63, did a nice job second in there as well. He has been a good center yeah. all year long. I apologize to the audience. Sometimes I can't, I can't pick up the black numbers. And I miss a, a player here or there. Sweep. Mal Malachi runs out of that. And... That was a great job yes. by Everett. Uh, and number 64 for the Lions. I, Bruce Lindstedt did an excellent Ball's job there to spring uh, Kai on that. I thought they uh, might get him for a hold, but it wasn't. He did a nice job, good technique. First and 10 from the 15. Taze comes in to spell Kai. It's first and 10 at the 15. Taze running hard. And, and there's a flag. Uh, this has got to be a hold. That's the problem with running all the time. You, you can pick up holds. Um, 
Personal First foul, foul, face mask, oh, number nine oh. on the defense. <laughs> After this, slap my wrist, everyone. That was one that was. Yeah, that flag came in from uh, a different angle, yep. and I think. Uh, so I want to say it was with a 24 back seconds, third quarter, half the distance to the goal. Going to put in a seven. About the five, I think. Oh, yeah, inside the five. Yeah, just inside the five yeah. yard line. Chumsford first and goal. First down, Chumsford. And that's the end of the quarter. And the quarter ends. We're going to start the uh, fourth quarter with the Lions on the five the yard line. I will say Chumsford one thing uh, uh, that I probably should have said earlier the Lions have had terrific field position yes. tonight. Yes, they have. Most of their drives have been short fields to drive. All right. Some, we're going to show you a few highlights while they change ends of the field and uh, see if we can. It's a pass deep. And this was an early in the first quarter. Kai Everett here in a, a nice run. Kept his feet going, picked up about 10 on that play. So deep. impressed with. Uh, uh, Kai tonight yeah, in terms of his that play there you see uh, Cooper Collins number 54 did an excellent job to set up the run for Wilder and this play here this is Kai, uh, Kai Everett scoring here's Joe Taze I believe yeah Joe had a nice series right there he's going to go in for the score lots of late run excellent job by Joe Almost picked off by uh, Joe Taze there. The, uh, I'm sorry, Joe Mitri. And this one here, this was a nice play by Jake Brooks, I believe, to break up and make it a fourth down. There's a punt that almost uh, became a Lions uh, fumble recovery. Here's the pe fake, pe fake sweep pass. Partridge. Got There's a run by Wilder for the touchdown right up the chute. There was nobody within uh, five yards of him. Never touched him. And Wilder puts the Lions on top by a 20 to nothing score. That is his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Lions have 21 points. This has been a long a, time coming, partner. Yes, it has. It has. This has been a... This is a, a, except this has been a real solid game for the offensive line. Oh, I terrific. have to say Game that. ball to uh, every one of those yeah, guys. We've had, as you said, good field position, but the offensive line has done a nice job of really uh, moving, uh, creating running lanes for Taves and Wilder and Everett, and also doing some good pass blocking when we needed it. But. Uh, and the game running balls game's been to, thing uh, tonight. Wilder and Everett as well. And They've we're been outstanding. A, we're going to take a break and get ready for the Lions kickoff. I think we're good now. Uh, getting ready to kick it off uh, after scoring on a short field this time. They've had great field position all night long. Kyle Wilder on a five yard touchdown run. Lions up 21 to nothing. And as Howie was saying, yeah. offensive line outstanding. Defense has played well tonight, too. And Defensive good line. And good there coverage good, there. Good, good kick coverage there. Tackle by. Uh, the Lions down in the 19, so it's good game tackle. And Robert Hennessy was there too. 
Hennessy, I, I didn't catch a number. Yeah. That's why I kind of said gang tackle. But <laughs> Hennessy was, it's Hennessy always was safe, right? It's yeah. always but safe. I have this post here, too, so I can't always see that <laughs> That's corner. true. 21-0, yeah. just starting the fourth quarter. We will not do running time tonight, folks. No. And, and the, uh, North Andover is on the 20. Hand off straight ahead. Runs hard. Picked up three or four yards. All right. There's some numbers for us. Number 72 in there for the tackle. And that is Josh Bethel. Right. Uh, Jose Bethel. That's a uh, no. second down and s about six and a half. Defensive line uh, has played extremely well. All the defense, secondary, shutting out North Andover. Toss deep. deep and <sighs> just off the fingertips. Got to keep that guy in front of you because he's the only one that's going to hurt you he's, right uh, now. He's been the primary target. Um, uh, you can see this is just a, 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 a fade route. And uh, he's just out of his out of his reach. Partridge, yeah, Partridge. incomplete. Third down. And I think that's again. Uh, Brooks was right there, Josh. Uh, Jake, pardon me, Jake Brooks. Jake, yep. I've got two more years to learn that for him. Oh, that's okay. I still can't uh, say Malachi <laughs> <laughs> after two years. Oh, the blitz, and oh, good. <laughs> Maybe a good move. Yeah. That tree was uh, Linstead that he saw. I, I think so. <laughs> I think. Uh, take a seat. Uh, or Thomas. I, or Thomas Brown. I'm not. Let's see. We'll take a look. I know. Uh, I think it was Ryan Clark. Ryan Clark. A bigger tree. A bigger tree. This is amazing. They are going to go for this on fourth down, and about. Eight. The ball is at the 22 yard line. Back to pass. Swing, screen. swing pass. Lions are there. And they have stopped them. Chelmsford will get the ball on about the 25 yard line. Interesting. Wow, that was interesting. Yep. Yeah. You know, the side number Go ahead. When I first saw it develop, I thought it was going to be a double pass. Yeah, you they've know, not a, done anything fancy. And then a deep, a deep throw. Lions are averaging 44 points a football game. And um, if North Andover keeps this up, they're going to uh, get close to that number. First and 10 at the 28 yard line, 23 yard line, sorry. All right. First and 10 from the North Andover 23. Everett bounces through a hole, stays on his feet, picks up pretty good yardage. And now Kai Everett with the carry. Bethel 72 led up through the hole there. Kai right on his tail, picked up good yardage. That's a gain of about nine. Kai must be closing in on the 150 yard mark. Changing the play up. This is going to be while they're keeping it. Nope. Tossing it. Oh, this could no. get intercepted. No, no. Uh, no. Good defensive play by the Lions. McCarthy on the, the break. Is that McCarthy yeah. or Blag? I think it's Blag. Woof. I know there was a good time for that call, but again, you have to be careful with it. Yeah. That was Blag. Does a good job at the. He sure <laughs> did. Knocking the ball out of his hands. Yep. Prevent the. Wilder gives it to Everett. And Kai gets close to the first now, down. Everett, stop a number 24, James Federico. Boy, the Lions continue their blocks. They throw them downfield and they. Yep. Uh, yeah, they're doing an excellent job. It's first down at about the 12 yard line. Jumps with the first and 10 from the 11. Lions trying to put this one away. 
Ooh, very high snap. Wilder. Wilder keeps it inside the five to about the four, I would say. Tough to see. We're a long way yeah. away. It's just outside the five, looking at the linesman on the far side. Second so down and four about four. Marshall goes to the right of Wilder. Everett keeps it, and he's brought down. No gain on that play. It's no. going to be third down and Malachi four. Down by 24, James Federico. Brings up third and four from the five. Just about the five-yard line still. Yeah, still no gain there. That North End did a good job of... Uh, not letting the lines penetrate. Wilder, nothing. Nice job by uh, North Andover yeah. again. Number six on the blitz. Sack made by number six. Scott, Hunter Scott. I'm never going to use red marker on the <laughs> whiteboard again. Lions are going to go for this on fourth down. Fourth and nine. Got a flood pass going on here. Here's the toss. There's the catch. Danny Craig. Touchdown. I believe uh, McCarthy. Oh, no, Blag. It's Blag. Yeah. Yeah. And again. Touchdown. Blag's, uh, let's see. He is uh, second touchdown of the season. Yeah, Ryan get a nice job. Uh, uh, Kyle got it up high, and Blag was able to reach for it sky for it good two-handed catch little fade corner fade very good hands had a night nice, uh, kyle had a nice touch on that one it wasn't too hard bill worth is kicking footballs into the swamp back there it's going <laughs> to cost this team a hundred thousand dollars for football uh, 28 to nothing the teams come back up the field and the Lions have broken this one wide open. And we'll be back after this Lions kickoff. Good job. That was yep. Yep. nice throw. Had a good touch on that one. That one was done very well. Yep. Oh, the way they practice. They let us come back. Yep. Bruce Byam, Howie Neal, and George Simone and Michael Beerworth's high end over end kick taken at the five yard line and returned not far. Nice tackle there. I... And that was Wolinski on the return. I don't know who the tackle was, though. Yeah, I, I couldn't pick up the tackle number. He did not get it back to the 20. They were about the 17 yard line. Yep. And conversely, the Lions have had terrific field position. North Andover yep. has had horrific field position. A game ball to the entire special teams tonight. Right. Michael Lions. Beerworth has, oh, incompleted pass. Beerworth is responsible for a lot of that. Yeah. yeah. Good break up on the play. Clock was one of the people. There's the Let's replay, a little quick screen, good coverage. Clark yeah, was there. That's Clark. Incomplete. What a force he's become this year. Senior, 6'2", 210. And he can move. Second and 10. I don't know what the uh, total yardage is for not the end over, but uh, can't be a lot. They've no. completed a couple of long passes. Yep. But that's been about it. 
Second and 10. Back to pass, looking for another long one, and that's way over his head. Out of bounds anyway. Jake Brooks on the coverage. They ought to pick on somebody else, I think. Yeah. Third and 10. And I think I'm surprised not the end over isn't trying to uh, maybe get out of here with uh, run the ball a few times, run the clock, punt it. Yeah, third and 10. They haven't shown any kind of real screen game. They did try a quick screen, right. flank of screen. Right. And no, and no trickery, really. No, except uh, the, the sweet pass. Yep. The jet sweet pass. Lions blitz. There's the flanker screen and right there. It. And that was dropped. Bornski again. Fourth down. Uh, the intended receiver, I think, was... 22. Uh, 22, yes. Fourth down. Marshall going back deep. This has been a long time coming for Chelmsford, folks. Uh, losers of six in a row to North Andover. And some of those were by pretty big scores. Short kick. Punt is away. And bounce. He's getting a great roll on this, yeah. about uh, 12, 13 yards. Yeah. Ten. Kicked it from about the 10, and he's on the, the Lions. Lions are on their own 43, so 50-yard kick. Yeah. Very nice. A lot of it uh, was on the ground. Though. Yeah. Yeah. And Let's see who the Lions come back with on offense. I have a feeling that they're coming back with group number one one more time. Yeah. I know all week long, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I think the Lions were a little bit concerned about this game, knowing that they hadn't beaten North Andover for such a long time. This sets up a really big game with Tewksbury next week in Tewksbury on Saturday. And a one o'clock right kickoff. Wilder, Everett, oh, we have a whistle. Timeout. Not the end Not time, the is time is out. Defense. 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 I'm not sure that they were in the uh, defense that they wanted to be in. And I think they would had 10 men. I think uh, number 65 was late getting on. Well, that would be not be the defense they'd want to be in, right? No. <laughs> no. Not with this score. A little concerned at halftime, but the Lions took that opening kickoff and just drove it right down the field. And from then on, it's been all Chumpsford. This is thank Tom Peterson time. Thank all the students at Chumpsford High School working the cameras, doing a great job inside the truck. Huh? Tom is a terrific director, works extremely well with the students. I uh, just wonder if his head still fits inside the truck, probably. <laughs> Wilder keeps it and gets back to the line of scrimmage, maybe a yard. Don't want to get your quarterback hurt now, coach. Gain of a yard. Lions have not shown the uh, weapons that they have in the past game as much tonight, but believe me, they are a nightmare to defend. Yeah, well, I think their weapon tonight has been their offensive line. It has been. They have done a nice job up front. Yep. Mm. Letting the clock run. Wilder. Picking up about four. It's going to be third and third and six. We have the ball to the 47 yard line. Third and six on the 
Each play is taking a long time purposefully. Lions just get that off. Marsh uh, Everett to the outside. That looks like a first down. Boy, I I don't know for sure what his yardage total is, but it's got to be close to uh, 200 yards. <sighs> He's been all yeah, over this field. The Lions have it now to the 47 in no hurry. Not the end over certainly is not going to stop the clock. So the Lions will go to uh, four and one. Is Everett? Oh, and we've got a flag. Got a flag. I don't know yep. if that was a, a face mask. Let's wait and listen. Gets jumps. I'm gonna come over. Holding offense number 11, 10 yard penalty. That penalty is against uh, John McCarthy, but John, you do such a great job out there blocking. You uh, can get away with one. Chumps with coaches don't think he did anything. It's. Fourth and three. Okay. Everett burst through a hole. One man. Big yardage. First down. First down. Keep the clock going. Keep the drive alive. Uh, a shout out. A shout out here. I've been uh, right jotting down some names. Uh, Costco, Ward, Linstead, Brown, Bethel, Dan Craig, all did an excellent job up front for the offense to keep the ball moving forward for the line. Got a dead ball foul, tonight. personal foul. I think it's against not the end of it. Dead ball foul, unnecessary roughness, number six, 15 yard penalty. Frustration starting to show a little bit yeah. now, I think. That's going to uh, bring the ball. Uh, let's see where they put this. So down about the 16. Inside the 20. Going to be pretty close to the 16. Even further down. Uh, uh, 16. Okay. First and 10. Chelsea at the 16. <laughs> Mouser would like to. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, Malachi would like this game to continue all night long. Here he comes out wide. He just said he was half asleep. Yeah. It stays on his feet. Hey. It's amazing what he's done. <laughs> yeah, he keeps his leg going, keeps his legs going. Where is Tilt He's able to this? slip a tackle or two down to about the uh, 11. About a five yard gain, I believe. About five. They were at the uh, 16. Can't, can't quite see. Uh, 12, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, like five. the 11. Five from the 11. We're down to three minutes. One more first down, and I think the Lions will probably start to sit down. Here it is again. Yeah. Malachi, close. He's. They're saying down. Yep. Okay, he got it to the one yard line. Oh no. With the run. Right on the. Uh, looks like about the four inch line. Yeah. Well, I was giving him a benefit of the doubt. <laughs> that's right. This is you. One more time to Malachi. He deserves this one. Oh, an ISO. Wilder. Yeah, it's Wilder. Touchdown. The Lions now go on top by a score of 34 to nothing. And a convincing win in this uh, game tonight. This was not a bad North Andover team. No. Now they're starting to run the clock. 
The referee wants uh, running time now. Fourth game in a row, Chumpswood has been in a running time situation. Beerworth looking for point number 35. He has five more now yep, tonight. He came in with 18. And he is now up to, I uh, came in with 17. He's up to 22 in a row. All right, yes. we'll, we'll, we'll be back with the Lions kickoff after this break. Maybe. And we are gonna wrap this up quickly because they're playing running time and there's only uh, a minute and 10 seconds. They will probably get the kickoff away. So for the, th ooh, we just had a young man fall down in front of us. So I hope he's okay. I guess yeah. he is. He was running on the bleachers and he took a real toss. But he's a chance to pop on and he's all right. Yeah, he's okay. High, high kick. Lots of hang time. Good coverage by the Lions. Yeah, and it looks like the Lions are going to post, post a shutout tonight over a pretty good, well, not the end of a football team. For the uh, fourth game in a row, we're playing running time. Yeah. I think Dylan George, number nine, was in on that quick. tackle. But you gotta listen. Don't move, you're perfectly like. Well, okay, like, not the end of with the last play of the night. Interception. <laughs> Pass is intercepted by Joe Tames. That's the game. Yeah, this was a great. This was a great play uh, all around by the Lions offense. Defense, their first shutout of the season. Uh, excellent pass defense. Good Congrats tackling. To the, I'm sorry. Congrats to the coaching staff. They prepared this team extremely well. Uh, great job by everyone involved in the Lions uh, part of the field. And an important victory for Chelsea. Next week, they just get tougher and tougher. That's right. No letdown for, for the Lions this week in practice. They got a big game with Tewksbury coming yep. up. Yeah. They seem to come out of the game uh, fairly injury-free, too, which yep. is another biggie. Yep. Once again, thanks to Tom Peterson. Thanks to all the students. How we uh, will take it up next Pick it up Saturday in Saturday, the sun. Saturday at 1 o'clock in Tewksbury. Thanks, folks. All right. Good night. Um, and it will not be a live broadcast, folks. So uh, right. enjoy right. your Saturday. Tune us in and win the replay during yep. the following week. Come out to the game. Come out to the game. Bye Absolutely. Now.
touchdown. Do you remember? Like what number? This is Stella Lamson for CHSTV, and I am here today with Kai Everett, who had a fantastic game, and the whole team really did have a fantastic game today. I know that you guys haven't won against North Andover for a couple of years, so this year must have been really special in order to beat such a hard team, and you've beat so many teams so far this year. What do you think is making this year different compared to other years when it comes to like your training? Um, we're just putting in the work in and out of practice. Even on the weekends, we're hitting the field as a team, getting, getting better and just putting the grind together, all together as a team, and just working hard, that's it. That's so great to hear, and I know that you also specifically had a very fantastic game today. I remember hearing your name so many times throughout the game, and the announcers were saying so many positive things about you. You really were such a driving force for the team, and also you had a really fantastic first touchdown. Can you tell me a little bit about what went into that touchdown and maybe some of your other awesome plays? Um, we kind of like broke it down before the game started. We were uh, up at the plateau, just putting in the work, just going over plays, seeing what's going to be the first best play that we could do. And I guess it worked. Ran it for a touchdown off the outside of the field, down our sideline. Perfect. It really was such a perfect touchdown. It was great to watch. I hope that you have a fantastic rest of your night. I hope that you guys also have a fantastic rest of your night. This was Stella Lamson for CHSTV.